Okay. Hi, everyone. I am Sierra Hunt Singer, and I'm a senior at Millard South. And this is called Almost Love. We argue all the time. There is so many holes in his stained white walls. I have lost track of which fight is which. It is a shame what he has done to me. It is all his fault for not being smart enough to understand that my moody, heavy heart needs space. He asks me, what's wrong, Sierra? What did I do? As if he thinks he's the reason why I'm mad. And when my name comes out of his mouth, I decide it is his fault. It is his fault why my anger has electrified my brutal cold shoulder. He is my target, and I will make him feel like a nobody for no reason because or the him feel like a nobody than me. Bad enough, I am a nobody at school. At home, my footsteps are soft droplets of brief hellos, and into the room it is where I sit and smother myself in fears of always being this way. Guilt of treating him the way I do aches my ill, incandescent mind brings my heart to a boil, melting it into the brittle bones of my rib cage. But no, show no weakness or remorse. I will show him who is boss, just like mom taught me. Reel him in, give him his utmost desire, then force him away to the other side so he can sit and try to figure out what he did. And it's every day, every day, every day, every little thing he does bothers me, though it really does. I just want to have control. I want to be in charge. I want to blame everything on him because I'm sick of everything being blamed on me. And for a while, I'm getting my way. He loves me when I want him to. He yells at me when I want him to. He says, sorry, I hate you. It's all my fault. I'm such a bad boyfriend when I want him to. So much control. And it feels so good, so good to know that I can make a person so weak so that I can feel strong, strong with the glow of the phosphorescent sun in all its entirety. I have him where I want him. His thoughts are wrapped around my pinky, his beat beating unknowing heart in my throat, and his deepest desires in the back pocket of my too tight skinny jeans. No apologies, my way and shameful attitude pushing him to the edge of no return. He doesn't want to leave, but I'm trying to make him because if he stays, I'll only kill his Garfield smile, his eyes that are starry blue galaxies, his laugh that brings forth my jealousy because I want to laugh like that. Uh oh, wait a second. His eyes are getting wider, eyebrows standing like tall jagged mountaintops, caps of white disgusting right through my continual sharp manipulation, slowly unmasking the dirty game called I love you that I love to win every time, except I don't think my game is working anymore. He's seen past my cries that I say are him, but are really me tonight. He can smell my burdens burning away the girl he wanted to love so bad. Walking away, distance growing, my heart slowing. He is leaving me. And I'm silently whispering all the things he deserves to hear. I am sorry for putting you through hell and making you think you weren't good enough. You are beautiful, baby. Please don't go. You're all I have. I know I'm horrible, but I love you. It's a sick love, but it's love. And he can't hear me. He is gone. No goodbye. And I have no one but my own wicked self to blame for not admitting to my inexcusable cruelty to a boy I loved to hurt. He'll never hear my I'm sorry. He'll only remember me as the girl who drenched his stained white walls in misery, forcing him to punch holes. Holes that will always be a reminder that he was almost loved, but couldn't be, because I didn't know what love even was.